What is up, ladies and gentlemen? We are here for our week six team builder for the NBA. This week, we are taking on the Cologne Conkelders, coached by Johnny. Johnny is a guy who's helped us out before in the past, prepping for games. Uh, he's a very good friend. Uh, pretty much everybody in this league is a, is a very good friend, so uh, really glad to be playing against these people. But Johnny has a very threatening team. Uh, he's actually the one that sniped Roserade from me and suggested that I get Venusaur instead for this league. Uh, he also grabbed Mill Tank, which is something that I wanted. But anyway, uh, let's move on here. Uh, so his team is Clefable, Scallopede, Blastoise, Roserade, Magneton, Mill Tank, Megalodias, Infernape, Gliscor, Sneasel, and Braviary. So very threatening-looking team. Uh, there are a couple of Pokemon that I'm expecting him to bring against me. Uh, specifically, the Magneton for Magne Mega Scizor also handles the Mamoswine if it's not max speed with uh, with Flash Cannons, of course. Scallopede is a very good Pokemon against me as well, as uh, with boosts up and swords dances, it can pretty much run through my team, as long as Mega Scizor is weakened, of course. And uh, I think Roserade is going to come. I think that's uh, that's pretty much a given because HP Fire with Technician Boost, uh, as well as getting Grass Stab and Poison Stab against me, is very, very good. Mega Latias is a possibility. Infernape is looking like it may or may not come. I really hope it doesn't, but if it does, I'm prepared for it, so it's all good. And then we have, uh, I think, Gliscor might make an appearance and potentially Sneasel. So that's more or less the, th the six I think he's going to bring against me. Uh, Blastoise might also come to, to spin away rocks, but... That's kind of like the sixth mon, uh, the seventh mon I think might may come, and Clefable is also very scary as well because it's hard to handle. So, um, the first mon we're bringing against Johnny is Yuxi. I'm gonna be nicknaming them as I go along here because I forgot to do that before. So CTC the Yuxi, as you guys can see, uh, 248 HP, uh, pretty bulky with the 130 defenses base uh, hits 296, 224 speed. This is enough to out, uh, outrun max speed Roserade and be able to hit it with a Psychic or a knockoff or even a Thunder Wave is not bad at all. Uh, stealth Rocks are there to get up hazards, of course, and Knockoff is there because I had to fill out a, a, a move slot and I'd like to get rid of an item on something, potentially the Clefable's Leftovers, uh, or even Magneton's Choice Scarf or Choice Specs if he decides to run them that way. If it's sturdy, I'll be able to break it, which is nice. Uh, Mega Latias, I mean, takes a Knockoff, no problem, but this is really just to get items off, so if I catch the Gliscor on a Switch, that's also really nice. So that's pretty much our UC set right there. Uh, not much more to say about it. Next we have... Twerk, our Mamoswine, which is uh, a Life Orb set this week. I don't know if I've brought Life Orb yet, but this week I pretty much have to bring it because if that Clefable comes, I need something to be able to hit it pretty hard. Um, and Earthquake is a two-hit KO after Leftovers, so uh, that's pretty solid. Uh, next up, it hits Scallopede, catches Blastoise on the switch with an Earthquake, which is really nice. It's got Ice Coverage, which is weak. his team is extremely weak to in Roserade, Megalodios, and Gliscor, as well as Braviary. Uh, and, of course, Knockoff is there once again to get off some items. Ice Shard for Priority. It's uh, one of two forms of Priority that we have on this team, so this is looking pretty nice. Next up, we have Thundolos, our Thunderous. Let me just nickname that. And uh, this week, we're running a very interesting set. I always like to run interesting things with my uh, my Thunderous. Uh, we're going to be bringing a Nasty Plot Agility set. Now, why Nasty Plot and Agility? Uh, obviously, you can see on my opponent's team, he only has one thing that outspeeds me, which is the uh, the Scallopede. So why would I want to bring, or even the, the Sneasel, excuse me. Why would I want to bring Agility? Well, if the lead matchup comes down to Thunderous versus Scallopede, I go for an agility as he protects on turn one potentially, and Rock Slide doesn't take me out without a boost, and I go for HP flying on the following turn, and knock him out if he doesn't have any defensive investment. Thunderbolt is there of course to be able to hit the, uh, the Clefable for neutral, the uh, Blastoise, um, be able to hit the, what else, the Braviary, so uh, with a speed boost up and plus two, I pretty much um, one hit KO or two hit KO his entire team. Uh, so Thunderbolt, uh, HP Flying. HP Flying is there for the Roserade, but I also brought it because it, it hits the Infernape for super effective damage, um, and it hits the Scallopede for super effective damage, and it's the only move I have that can Oko it, so that's why I'm rocking that. And uh, Nasty Plot Agility, that's pretty much it. With uh, Leftovers, of course, a lot of uh, HP investment because I don't need the speed with the Agility Boost. So that's going to be our Thunderous set. Next up, we have Miss Magius here, and Miss Magius is um, going to be very uh, interesting this week. Uh, this is Hocus, uh, and um, we're running a Choice Scarf set. Why are we running Choice Scarf? I'll explain. The 285 speed is to be able to outspeed uh, Choice Scarf Braviary, so I'll be able to outspeed it, knock it out with a Thunderbolt. Trick is there for the Clefable, so that I can give it a Choice Scarf and render it pretty much useless. Uh, Shadow Ball is there to be able to hit the majority of my opponent's team outside of Miltank. Uh, Trick can also um, pretty much mess up Miltank pretty bad. 
Uh, and finally, Destiny Bond is there. The reason I'm bringing Miss Magius this week is because if it comes down to it, if Megalodius, if Megalodius starts to set up on me, I need a an emergency button. And I'm bringing Destiny Bond with Choice Scarf to be able to basically get a knockout whenever I want. Um, if there's a, a Pokemon that's too much of an issue for me, let's say Infernape and it's not Scarfed, uh, I get off a of Destiny Bond, I knock it out, and it's gone. For the rest of the game so that's why we're bringing this magius right here our next pokemon is going to be yet another choice scarfer that's right we're bringing two choice scarf mons this week we have choice scarf tyrantrum now as per most teams if you look at my opponent's roster he doesn't have anything that takes a head smash very well outside of Ma uh, magneton everything else gets o code or two hit ko'd uh, with an adamant nature except maybe a defensive Gliscor is the only other Pokemon that can take it, which is why we're running Earthquake and Ice Fang. Those are to be able to hit the uh, the Gliscor and the Magneton, of course, respectively. And Dragon Claw is there so that I can take out the Latias if it starts to set up on me and it's it's lowered in health. So that's, uh, that's Tyrantrum for you this week. Uh, this thing's nickname was Kratos. And finally, we have... Edward, our Mega Scizor, who has pretty much come to almost every game at this point. Uh, Slowbro has as well, but we're leaving Slowbro behind this time. I'm relying on uh, Yuxi to wall the uh, Infernape if it's not a Life Orb set. Uh, can knock it back out with a Psychic, or come very close, put it in range of Bullet Punch, basically. And um, our Mega Scizor set this week is going to be... Oh, sorry about that. Uh, tailored, basically, to lure in the Magneton. I want to be able, I have enough speed on this to outspeed as, as Magneton unless it's Choice Scarfed. I have enough HP to live in HP Fire unless he's Choice Specs. So pretty much at all times I'm living whatever hit he goes for or I'm outspeeding him and knocking him out with a superpower except if he is of course uh, sturdy. So that's what uh, Scizor is for of course with a plus two. Bullet Punch is pretty much running through his team if the Magneton's already gone. Uh, at that point, Sneasel goes down. Uh, Infernape is the only other Pokemon that takes it pretty well. Rosary doesn't enjoy it. Blastoise doesn't like Super Power. Uh, Scallopede doesn't enjoy the Bullet Punch. Neither does Clefable, obviously, because it's super effective. And I can hit the Latias and pretty much two-hit KO it with a plus two Bullet Punch. So That's the set we're running for Edward this week. This is a little bit of a shorter, um, shorter team builder for you guys this week because I am taking on Johnny within like the next 10 minutes or so as soon as he gets done. I think he's already done the, the prep for us. Didn't have a lot of time, actually. Uh, he hasn't had his Week 5 match, so we don't know his record just yet. He was on vacation for a while. Really cool-looking vacation, too. And um, he's coming back now. He has to play both Dom and myself. Uh, so hopefully he had enough time to prep correctly for me, and it'll be an interesting match. But you guys are going to have to check that out tomorrow. If you enjoyed this team builder, be sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you want to see more of these. If you want to make sure not to miss the match tomorrow, of course, subscribe. Check out my Twitter and my Facebook, as always, in the description down below. And I thank you once again for watching. I will catch you guys later. Ciao.